new Git features in Visual Studio 2022, Power Toys updates, and Wordle. All that and more on this episode of The Download. Welcome back to The Download. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Cloud Advocate at Microsoft, and Happy New Year. I hope that everyone watching at home is having a terrific 2022 so far, keeping safe and healthy. Uh, I've had a couple of weeks off, and now I'm refreshed and recharged and ready to get into the latest dev news, so let's do this thing. So first up, since it is the new year, is the perfect time to start learning something new. So over at Microsoft Learn, the Cloud Skills Challenge, 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 Challenge is back with a new program called 30 Days to Learn It. And so you can follow the registration link in the show notes and the description. And once you sign up, you can select an area you want to learn more about. So it could be something like Azure AI Fundamentals, Azure Developer, Power Platform, Java on Azure, Microsoft Graph. There are tons of options, but choose what you would like to learn more about. So once you do that, um, you will have 30 days to complete some curated Microsoft Learn content around that topic. And then once you've completed that challenge, 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 challenge uh, you will get a shiny badge for your profile as well as 50% off a certification exam of your choosing. And so if you're interested in getting certified, this is actually a really great program to check out. And uh, as I said, check out the links in the description and the show notes down below. Next up, there's some great new additions happening around the Git experience in Visual Studio. 2022, specifically uh, version 17.1 Preview 2. So I've got a blog post linked in the show notes and the description that lays it all out, but the TLDR is that the built-in tools for handling Git are now a lot more robust and easier to use. And if you've used Git in VS Code, uh, it'll look familiar because it works in a similar way, but this time it's you know for Visual Studio. So basically it's gonna be much easier to compare branches, check out a commit, do multi-repo branching and line staging, i.e. interactive staging, all inside Visual Studio 2022. It's a lot more intuitive, and I think this will be great for devs who don't want to have to leave their editor or even putz with the command line every time they want to play with version control. And there are still a couple of known issues. There are also some upcoming features, so be sure to check out See what I did there? Let's see. Uh, the blog post that I mentioned for more details. And there's also a link that provides a uh, survey where you can provide more information to the devs. All right, next, let's talk about one of my favorite apps, which is Power Toys. Now, Power Toys, for people that don't know, is an open source collection of utilities for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And it's aimed at power users, hence Power Toys. So uh, the latest release adds two new features. And the first one is called Always on Top Mode. And when this is enabled, you basically hit a hotkey on a specific window, and then that window will always remain on top of other windows. And so this can be really useful for windows that you don't want to get hidden. And then you just hit that hotkey again, and it'll act as normal. And you can also customize it so that it doesn't work in game mode or with certain apps. Awesome stuff. So that's the first thing. But the next feature is a new operator, which has been added to my favorite Power Toys, uh, which is Power Toys Run. And Power Toys Run basically is invoked when you hit the Alt space, or you can set another hotkey if you want, and allows you to more easily search your machine for files, apps, or invoke commands or processes. And uh, for me personally, I've been using like a similar motif for like 15 years. Shout out to the Quicksilver OGs, right? Um, anyway, this is a total game changer. But there's a new operator on Power Toys Run. So you just type in question mark, question mark, and then a search query, and it'll open up that query in your default web browser with your default search engine. So I love it. So you can get Power Toys from GitHub or the Microsoft Store, and I've got a link to the latest release in the show notes and the description. Next, I just want to give a quick shout out to my friends, Kayla Cinnamon, and everyone's favorite developer, Scott Hanselman, and their new show, Windows Wednesdays. And so every Wednesday, Kayla and Scott talk about and show off cool Windows stuff, including like WSL and Windows Terminal. And I've got a link to the playlist on YouTube, and you can check them out each week over at the Windows Developer YouTube channel. Next up, .NET MAUI is now at Preview 11, and it's getting some new features, including multiple windows for apps. Uh, there are some updated templates with C Sharp. There's uh, now alignment across iOS, macOS, and tvOS, and there's new documentation. So check it out in the links that I've got in the show notes in the description. Next, if you are interested in playing with Azure Container Apps, my friend Jay Gordon made a really great video on how to deploy Azure Container Apps with a CI CD workflow, and it's totally worth checking out. 
really great stuff, Jay. And as I said, links are in the description and the show notes down below. And moving on, Azure Static Web Apps is a really great way to deploy your static content in a robust and reliable way. And there's now an enterprise edge variant in preview that will make your static web apps enterprise grade, thanks to its integration with Azure Front Door. And so this will improve things like page speed and will also allow you to secure your applications on a globally deployed network so that no matter where your customers are, they're getting the best experience. And so I've got a link in the show notes and the description for more information and documentation on the enterprise grade edge static web apps in the show notes in the description. Shout out Simona, good work. And speaking of static sites, my pal Christian Heilman has a really great post on his blog on how you can turn a GitHub page into a progressive web app, which is really cool. So this is awesome. And I've got a link to Christian's post in the links down below. All right, now it's time for my pick of the week. So if you spend a lot of time on Twitter, you might have seen people sharing their scores from the fun word game Wordle. And Wordle is essentially a clever twist on a word guessing game like Lingo, but with some really fun innovative twists, like the fact that you can only play it once a day and the fact that you only have six chances to solve the word. It was the creation of a software developer, Josh Wardell, who lives in Brooklyn, and he built the app for his partner. And get it, Wardell, Wordle, it's cool. Anyway, he released it to the public in November to just a couple of dozen daily users. And as of two weeks ago, it was getting like 300,000 users a day. And that figure is now in the millions. And there have been lots of clones and there's there lots of discourse around the app. And all that kind of seems to detract from something that I think is pretty awesome, which is a project a software engineer made out of love to share with his partner and his friends has delighted millions of people across the globe. And to me, that captures the essence of why software development is so great and why I think the web is such a great platform. So I've got a link to Wordle in the show notes in the description, as well as a profile on Josh from the New York Times. It's awesome. Thank you, Josh. Thank you for Wordle. Wordle's awesome. That does it for me this week. Let me know if you are as addicted to Wordle as I am in the comments down below, as well as your thoughts on any of our other stories. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it on YouTube. The dislike counter is broken, but you can still let us know your opinions. And while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to Microsoft Developer for all of your nerd needs. See you next time.